Hey guys and welcome to Slash Rex Games. So a while back, I expanded my making menus tutorial and we added controls and a sound room. So that was quite a long video and I had a few subscribers say very great stuff on the control room but they're not exactly sure on how to expand it to add an action key or a use key or something like that. So in this video, I'm going to be expanding on the controls room. We're gonna be adding an action key over here and I'm gonna be showing you step by step how you can take my implementation and expand it as much as you want. So if you don't know what I'm talking about at all, I do invite you to go back and take a look at my Making Menus Revisited tutorial. Links in the description as well as the banner on the screen. It is a bit of a long tutorial, so I'll make sure that the link starts off right where the control section happens. Right, so let's close this down, go to our project. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to import a new background. So this one just had the up, down, left and right. So let's go load. Here's my new one. Let's we go. So that one includes this action section. So that's where we'll position this key. Okay. Save that. Let's go to room controls. Let's go to the grid. So if we expand this, we'll see that um, there's space now here to the right. So let's move that there. So this is where we'll put that one. Okay. So let's expand objects. Expand keys. So we've got up, down, left, and right. Now to add another key, it's as simple as duplicating one of these other ones. So let's duplicate key right and call it obj key action. Make sure its parent is the object button parent, which in this case does the hover effect. Okay, cool. So let's go into the create. We need to change key equals global key right to key action. I'll show you where we get this variable. Okay, let's head into our left pressed. All right. Var a equals instance create the controller, giving it a purpose, and this purpose is going to be action. Okay, let's go into the draw event over here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, this just handles the drawing of the keys when the characters are special. So up, down, left, right, you can do control, you can do space, things like that. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna head into the key controller over here, press any key. So it switches on the purpose. So when we create the key controller, we give it a purpose. We're telling it when you're active and someone's pressing another key, it's because we want to set this key up. So we add another case, call it action. And then we say object key action dot key equals new key. Replace action key. Very good. And then we can destroy this instance. So let's go place this in our room. Get rid of the grid, objects, keys, action. There it is, let's put it right there. Say so, okay. So now we need to make sure that when the user clicks the save button over here, it saves all these changes. So let's go over there to object button save, left pressed. So currently, making sure that the controller is not in existence. Opening up our settings any, we are grabbing our controls from the instances. This is where we need to add global dot key action equals object key action dot key. There we go. So we've got so we've grabbed that variable now. And we can write this to the file. Any write real controls. Let's call this action global dot key action that's that variable over here and then we close the any and navigate back to the main menu all right so that's all fun and games but we need to also make sure that when the game loads up for the first time we are loading in those variables so let's go to our boot room let's go to our creation code it's pretty much just the opposite of save global dot key action equals any read real
controls, again action, and let's take that one. I'm going to say this as E for the default. All right, so let's go to our HUD. Uh, there it is. Let's draw this out. Change this to 300. This is going to be action. And it's going to say key action. Okay. Now, that's all it takes to update the action key. Now, let's do something with it. Let's go to our object player. And in here, we have everything set up. If they're pushing whatever the up key is, then it moves us up. Same with down, moves us down, left, right, etc. So let's say, well, if keyboard check global.action, key action, in fact. Then let's do a let's do a show message. Action key pressed. Very good. So let's test this out and see what happens. All right, here we go. Controls. See default E. Let's change that. Let's say let's make it R. There we go, it changes to the letter R. If I click close, it's not going to save that. Let's make sure. Still E. Okay, cool. Make it R. Save changes. Controls. Fantastic. So that's been saved. Now if I start the game, I can move around using WSAD because that's what those keys are. And if I push R, it's going to show a message. There we go. Action key pressed. Action key pressed. Now it could be anything. Very cool. So escape. Let's go back to controls. Let's make the space bar. W, S, A, D, and spacebar, save, start. Now this doesn't say space because it's a special character and we haven't told it what to draw. So let's uh, exit this. Let's go to the HUD in here. And actually if we go to one of these keys and we have to open up this, you have to do one of these for every single special case. Let's just do it for the last key. And you can do it. I mean, this is just for debug purposes, really, so that we can see. But if I paste that in there, and I cut that out and put it in the default, just like that, and do this for all these. Then, if it's one of these keys, it'll show that instead of a blank. So let's test that out again. Okay, okay, okay. Play. It should still be saved. Start. Okay, lastly, copy, paste that in there. Okay, okay, play. Should still be saved. So let's click start, and that will say space or control or up or down. Let's try that. Controls, let's make this the up key. There we go. Save, start, up. Cool. And there we go. So that's how simple it is. We just duplicate a key. Make sure that's grabbing the global key, whatever it is, on load. When we press it, it's creating an instance of the object key controller and giving it a purpose. So when the player selects a new key, it can switch on that purpose and give the key that the user is trying to change a new value. It's pretty simple stuff. And then, just as simple as that, you can use these globals in any one of your objects. So in this case, key up, down, left, right, action. And it can do whatever you want. So I hope you found this tutorial educational and helpful. If you would like me to revisit any of my other tutorials and clear things up or show you how you can expand upon them, say so in the comments or send me a personal message. You can find the project files for this tutorial in the description. If you like this video as well as many of my other ones, please check out my Patreon campaign. I do appreciate your support. And if you want to play a fun little mobile game, check out Element Earth. It is on the Amazon App Store as well as the demo you can find on the Google Play Store. Links are all in the description. So until next time, happy coding and I'll see you then.